Hey everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials and in AWS Tutorials we provide workshops and exercises to help you um, uh, learn AWS services. And today we are going to talk about Amazon Athena Federated Query. It is a new feature which has uh, been released uh, as a part of Amazon Athena and it is still under preview or beta. So you already know that you can use Amazon Athena to query uh, data from uh, S3 bucket. Okay, so you can catalog your data and then you can query data from the S3 bucket. Uh, with Athena Federated Query, actually you can query your data from any data source. And, um, and your data source could, could beyond S3, your data source could be uh, a relational database, it could be a NoSQL database, it could be any AWS service to be very honest, or even on-premises system, okay? Uh, and the way it works is that uh, it uses a, a connector to the data sources, and those connectors are defined into this Lambda function. So there are some predefined connectors uh, 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 or, or predefined Lambda functions which you can use to talk to uh, certain data sources. Uh, but if you come with some really, uh, yeah, uh, a data source which is not in the list or, or, or default connectors, you do have an opportunity to write your own connector into Lambda function and then use that connector to talk to data source uh, to query data into Amazon Athena. Then uh, Amazon Athena, since it is serverless, it also uses an S3 bucket, which we call it a spill bucket, uh, uh, where a spill data bucket, where uh, it simply uses this, uses that bucket to make query, okay, or, or, or source temporary data, temporary records, uh, because it's a serverless and it uses S3 as a storage uh, for running the query. So as I mentioned earlier, that Athena comes with some predefined uh, predefined uh, uh, connectors, and you will find connector for um, yeah document DB, DynamoDB, your Redshift, uh, your relational databases like MySQL, Aurora, SQL Server. I think Postgres is also there. Uh, then you can also talk to EMR or Elastic Cache, um, and you do have opportunity that if you if you have a data source which is uh, outside the list uh, of the available connector, and I'm sure list of available connector will keep increasing, uh, uh, but if you come across a data source where the connector is not available, you can go and create your own connector. And I'm thinking probably I will have a create separate exercise about how to create such connector, okay? Because that will be very interesting. So, very simple one. Uh, so far, you have been able to use Athena to just query data from S3 bucket. Now you have an opportunity to query data from uh, any of the data sources uh, using Lambda-based connector. Okay. So uh, what? So this is a very simple and uh, yeah, straightforward exercise we are going today. Uh, and in this exercise today, uh, we will use uh, out of box uh, DynamoDB connector, a Lambda connector. Uh, to connect to DynamoDB table uh, and, and then query data inside Athena. Uh, we will use S3 for the spill data bucket and then we'll use IM for the you know, uh, whole identity and authorization. So this is the scenario we are going to build today to learn uh, the uh, Athena uh, federated query feature. It is still in beta, okay? So uh, yeah, uh, the things will change probably uh, a bit in future and when it does, I will update my video, but uh, if you go today, this is uh, you know uh, this is how it works. So uh, we have created an exercise for that, and the URL for the exercise is also provided in the description box. And then uh, you can use this exercise and follow the steps to uh, create uh, to configure Athena to query data from DynamoDB, and also learn how this whole connector configuration works. Okay, and um, all these workshop and exercises are published to aws-dojo.com. Uh, so let's jump to um, uh, jump to that um, exercise. So this is our uh, aws-dojo.com where we have got uh, a number of uh, workshops and exercises. And at this point of time, we are interested in uh, introduction to Amazon Athena Ferret query exercise. If you click on that, 
uh, it shows you uh, yeah the steps to perform. Uh, so of course you need to have an AWS account in order to perform this exercise. Uh, then the second step, and if you don't, then you can of course create a trial account. Then first step is to create then that spill data bucket. So uh, we go to uh, S3 and then there we simply create a Dozo Athena Fed query, just a bucket uh, which can be used for the uh, your uh, no, spill data. Okay, uh, then we will go and create an, uh, a table in DynamoDB. And since we are trying to query DynamoDB data over here, uh, uh, then uh, yeah, uh, for that purpose, we are creating a table uh, and we'll simply insert some data so that our data source is ready. So we simply go and create uh, a Dojo table uh, and, uh, and then we put uh, ID as a primary key, which is of a number type, uh, keep everything default and create it. Uh, when it is created, then we simply go and create items or records into this table. Uh, so we'll create four, four records and we're keeping simple, right? ID, first name, last name, nothing more than that. So we are simply creating uh, the first record over here uh, and then we create uh, three more records, a total four records uh, we put into a DynamoDB table. So good enough. So uh, our data source is ready. Um, now comes the step number three, which is configuring, configuring uh, Athena data source for DynamoDB. So if you go to uh, Athena, uh, by the way, this feature is not available in every region. Uh, so you have to use Ireland region. Uh, yeah, at least I know Ireland region has this feature uh, available as a beta. Uh, so if you go to the so if you go to the uh, DynamoDB table, uh, click on the data sources uh, link. Uh, there you can uh, yeah see uh, a button uh, button called Connect Data Source. Click on that, and then there you can see um, uh, you will have option to query a data source and, and it's still in beta yeah, as I mentioned earlier. And if you select that option, it shows you. Uh, the various uh, pre-built connector you are, you have. So, for instance, yeah, you can talk to CloudWatch or the SQL server, all the SQL or relational databases. You can talk to Apache SBase. You can talk to this NoSQL databases. You can talk to Cache database. And if you think that yeah, you have something beyond it, then of course you can go and click on a data connector and connect to another data another data source. But in that case, you have to configure your Lambda function that way. In this case, we are selecting this DynamoDB as a data source. Uh, then when you do that, actually it tells you uh, configure your connector Lambda function. So you click on this link over here, uh, which will simply uh, open uh, a predefined application for such connector. And in this predefined application, all you have to do is uh, provide the spill data bucket, where which is used by the query to, uh, by the Athena to uh, spill the data. Uh, and then you have to provide a, a, a nice name to this uh, this connector. And once you do that, you can yeah, keep everything else uh, yeah, default, uh, and then you simply deploy it. When you deploy it, uh, it takes uh, yeah, a while, and in a while, your, your connector will be deployed. So once your connector is deployed, you can come back to your uh, Athena configuration again. You select this connector over here. Then you tell uh, what um, with what name you want to create your database, so which is Dojo DB in this case. We are putting the name, and then we simply click click uh, click on the connect button. And when you click the connect button, actually you are now connected to uh, you are now connected to the DynamoDB uh, tables. So uh, since this uh, feature is in a beta, it asks us to create a, a, a new work group, Athena work group uh, with this particular name, uh, Amazon Athena preview functionality, uh, and work, use this work group for the query purposes. Uh, so uh, I think it's a temporary uh, till it is in beta. Uh, and then after that, you can use your normal work group. Uh, so let's go and create this work group. So we are creating this Amazon Athena work group uh, and we are configuring that. And after doing that, uh, we are all good. We simply switch to that work group, okay? So that we use uh, this uh, uh, beta specific work group uh, for the query purposes. Uh, then we go to the last step, which is run the query. So if you go back to editor, you can see your Dojo DB. Uh, uh, data source is ready, which is connected to your DynamoDB. And you can see this Dojo table already listed under it because this is the table we have right now in our DynamoDB. Uh, now you can go and simply run a query saying, hey, I want to run a new query, select star from DojoDB, 
uh, schema name is default uh, and then uh, your dojo table and when you run it you can uh, you can see it you will get uh, the, all the four rows back from the dynamo db uh, okay so this shows you how you can uh, configure uh, a dynamo db table behind athena uh, as a data source to query data and similarly configuration you can do with other data sources like uh, with redshift and mysql or sql server uh, i will say just go and, and try that and play with that now this is a one time configuration uh, what I mean by that is that um, uh, you don't need to do it for every table. So for instance, what I did is that I went back to DynamoDB, simply created a sample table there. And once I come back and refresh my data source, it shows my sample table over, over there. So you don't need to repeat this DynamoDB connection configuration again and again. You do it one time and then your data is available to you uh, yeah, behind the Athena connector. Now that finishes the exercise, but then uh, let's do some last step, uh, which is clean up so that you don't incur any cost cost post this exercise. So please delete uh, this uh, data source, please delete the S3 bucket, uh, the table in DynamoDB, and of course uh, this uh, connector uh, Lambda function uh, from the cloud formation template. And once you do that, your account will reset back to where uh, you were. Okay, so that finishes the exercise. Uh, hope you hope you like this. There are many uh, similar exercises uh, and, and workshops uh, there in our aws-dojo.com website. Feel free to use them uh, and 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 uh, and implement this scenario to learn about AWS uh, services. So uh, that was all for today. Um, if you uh, have any comments and feedback, please feel free to provide that into the uh, YouTube uh, comment box, or you can also click on the contact us uh, link over here and send us uh, uh, those, uh, yeah, those, those feedback. Uh, if you like this video, please click on the like button. Uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, so that you uh, know, uh, learn about, uh, know about uh, our new exercises uh, and workshops. Uh, we try to publish at least one or two exercises and workshop almost every week. Okay, uh, so that was all for today. Uh, thank you very much for your time and have a nice day. Bye-bye.